Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. All right, so Aquarius, I have attempted to do this reading. This is the third time. All right, so let's, I don't know, I just don't know. Um, let's get into it. Um, and yesterday I did six readings, no sound. So, great. Anyhow. All right, so Aquarius here, I have your person's energy, has some um, potential outcome, or at least what you don't see in the connection. Then I have your energy here, overall energy is the death card. All right, so something could have ended. The relation, the death card specifically talks about a relationship ending, um, or maybe it's transitioning. I don't know. You know your situation. I don't, right? So something could have ended, or you feel like it's right at the end you feel like it's at death's door you feel like um this could be the end um you also somebody's withdrawn their emotions somebody's had an emotional release about this in terms of um what to do it looks like your person has just given up urgency to do anything in this connection they also may have withdrawn because they're getting attention elsewhere there might be somebody else involved in the connection. Um, you guys could have broken up with the Three of Swords here on your side, Aquarius. You could have broken up with this person because um, a third party. Somebody was meddling in the in the in the relationship. Somebody caused division here, derision here. Somebody caused problems for for the both of you. So now it's a breakdown in communication. There's a huge misunderstanding. Neither of you are talking about how you feel or what you're thinking. Um, you could be keeping in contact, but it will be very little communication and it definitely wouldn't be a clearing of the air. Um, your person just feels like they just need to be hands off right now in order to regain control with the chariot card here. They feel like they just need to um, in order for me to get control of this, I just need to do nothing. And then the Aquarius will come to me, and then we can forget about all of this, put this behind us, never have to talk about what transpired, and we possibly can do it all over again. Um, that could be a mind, the mindset that your person is taking on. Um, with you on your side, Aquarius, the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups, you definitely feel like this person so with the hierophant here you feel like you want to you feel like you're you're you were guided to mend the situation or mend the discord the drama maybe this love affair for for whatever reason um but then there was an altogether breakdown um a breakout um it could be a divorce for some of you and this could be it was a, a breakdown because there are other parties involved i don't know if you're failing to actually see this or really understand the magnitude of a person who deals with several different energies um they're all over the place they're confused they're hot and cold they're off and on in terms it makes you crazy it makes you up and down it makes you um, be misunderstood um, it looks like there was there is not um, uh, what is it a meeting of the minds here because the hierophant talks about uh, like-minded individuals and maybe you were mistaken you thought that this person was like-minded like you but no they aren't so there is a breakdown here because this person is about right now with the queen of wands getting a lot of attention being out there putting themselves out there the Queen of Wands, Wands talks about spring, going into summer. So maybe your person is getting a lot of attention. You know, um, they're out and about around the town. Um, they also could have a specific person that they're vying for. I don't feel like it is 100% that, but I do feel like it is more so them just being out there. I mean, anybody can get it. They belong to the streets right now. Um, and they're making rounds. It looks like they just want to leave the door open, the opportunity for them to come back to you, especially with the hangman here on their side. So it's like, I'll do nothing. I'm not breaking it. 
I'm not telling them I don't want to talk to them anymore. I'm not telling them to get lost. But I'm also not telling them that I love them, I want to be with them, I'm going to give them everything that they want. I'm just going to do nothing. I'm going to let nature take its course. Also, the hangman sometimes talks about um, accepting God's will. And maybe this person is accepting, like, look, I'm, I'm just not the person for the Aquarius. Or I can't give the Aquarius what they want right now. But I do want to leave that door open because it looks like there's an energy of, especially if your person is coupled, some of you deal with married people, or at least somebody who has been in a relationship for a long time. Um, they're they're trying to get their life together in terms of how does it look to be single or to be at a place where I can come to the Aquarius? How can I change my whole life's philosophy or my whole personal philosophy? Some people get married. They get in relationships to stay in them, not to move away from them, get out of them. Maybe they, this person had no intention of falling in love with you, Aquarius, wanting to be with you. Um, and now they're coming to this philosophy of, man, well, I might be in love with Aquarius. I would rather be with Aquarius. How can I be with Aquarius? Um, so this person is really thinking about, is this a relationship that they fight for? Do they change their own life, their, their, their entire mental capacity of how they look at relationships, marriage, outside relationships, divorce, whatever. Um, so some of you have somebody doing that. And they're spending a lot of time by themselves. They could be learning, learning about themselves, being very introspective here. Um, this, yeah, you got somebody asking a question, do I fight for this? This could be anybody. Um, whomever you're dealing with, we're not going to get into signs. If the reading resonates, then guess what? It's for you. Um, this person, okay, this person is having a hard time moving away from a position that they're already in because they live in the past, first of all, um, and they don't live in the present. So this makes it so hard for them to actually make moves and move away from and do, you know, do something different. This person is taking a very um, unwavering stance on their own personal philosophy about maybe singlehood or single life or being single. Um, they could feel like they want to be with you, Aquarius, maybe in the capacity of your husband or, you know, your boyfriend or whatever. But at the same time, they've gone through life like, I'm never getting married. I'm never doing that. I'm never as good. This person is highly confused. And also, they have a lot of different energy with around them, you know, that they are commingling with. Um, this has been a rocky relationship, and this person, you or this person could be asking the question, do I continue to fight for this? Because this is a bit too much. Um, what am I fighting for, okay? Um, but it looks like the both of you with the Wheel of Fortune here feel like this is um, a soulmate connection. It is a... Uh, yeah, somebody trying to weigh up the pros and cons of somebody's trying to stay busy so that they don't have to deal with this. It's too much of a decision here for them to deal with. So it's just easier to ignore it, to move on, or to act as if they're moving on. Um, and that's what your person could be doing also. The Wheel of Fortune here says that divine timing, perfect timing, uh, the Wheel is going to turn so that maybe you meet again. It comes back around. It also talks about soulmates. So maybe the both of you feel like this is a soulmate type of love situation, connection. But at the same time, you just can't get it together. So that is the energy for the next 72 hours. This person will probably not take any real strides toward you. Um, you know, looking at that three of cups on your side, Aquarius, maybe you need to get out, hang out with friends, family, family siblings, neighbors, mix it up get out there um you know as much as you can um have a good time enjoy yourself and take your mind off of this uh because it's the energy is ever changing we can do a reading let's say monday the today is thursday uh we can do a reading monday and, and then it'll be your person is so in love with you they're obsessed with you they can't wait to talk to you they're stalking you you know so, so it's like look right now Things need to be hands off. You need to 
pull your energy back, draw back. Shit can change tomorrow. All right, so Aquarius, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question. Uh, you can text the question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Also, this setup was inspired by another uh, tarot card reader here on YouTube. You should check her out. She is uh, a Ziggy Stargirl. She's a really good reader. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings.